Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to look at the Roosevelt Dime from 1986. This was the 41st year. First came out in 1946. We have three of the best dimes that I've ever seen. I want to talk about how these dimes all look different, but they are all very valuable. So let's take a look at them and kind of work our way through them. We know this one on top is a Philadelphia dime. We see the P there. This one over here, the Denver dime, with the D up there. And this one here is the San Francisco dime with the S on it. And you can tell when you see the San Francisco dime, not only does it have the S on it, but it is actually polished differently than the other dimes. And you can really see the difference in polish on all three of these. Just a different treatment. So San Francisco Mint makes these dimes in two different varieties now, but in 1986 they didn't. So this dime is going to be a copper nickel clad copper because that's the only way they made it in 1986. No silver dimes in 1986. Because this is a proof coin, it doesn't get rated the same as the other coins. It gets rated as a proof coin. So when you send it into PCGS or NGC, they say, okay, we'll rate this, but we'll rate it on a proof coin standard, not the regular mint state standard. And look at that, if we tip it up just a little bit. So it says United States of America on the top. One dime down here, E pluribus unum down here. Such a good engraved. You can see the two acorns there, and you can see the two olives there. And then you see just how this olive branch and the oak sprig kind of cover over the torch. And then on the torch, you can see really good separation between the bands here really good separation between the bands down here and this little cupping of the bottom. This coin is probably higher than a Proof 65, probably much higher. Why don't we have it rated? Well, we don't have this coin rated because if it's a Proof 65, the book value is about $4, and that's the U.S. Coin Digest, four, four plus dollars. Uh, it's going to cost us probably three times that to get it graded. Um, so even though we will get a professionally graded one, uh, if we get a proof 65 out of this because we guessed wrong, then it's it's going to cost us more money than it's worth. So why don't we just keep it like this, and this way we can kind of touch it and move it around and look at it. This one here, and it's got a film on it. It's got it just doesn't have great coloring to it. Well, a lot of collectors like this kind of patina on the coin. And look, there's another thing about this coin, and that is that this coin it has some separation in the rim. So if we look at this rim out here, we see that the rim actually has separated all over on this side. Usually when we look at this, it isn't on the back. So let's look at this and, and see if it is when we flip it over. We tip it up, we see Roosevelt here, Franklin D. Roosevelt. It says Liberty here and God we trust. Way down under it, there's a J and an S. And that's for John Sinek, the engraver of these coins. And you see these little dots down here, and that's actually from another coin hitting it at the mint. And then there's a 1986 with that short six top on it. So let's flip it over. And remember, it's this side right here. So let's see if we flip it over in this side. Um, I, you know, I'm maybe I'm just making this up, but I think I can see a little line on there. But it doesn't necessarily go through the back when they misalign a coin. Sometimes the back is aligned great and the front isn't aligned at all. We look at this one again. We see the torch. Because this is a circulating coin, this will be uh, a mint state grading. And if we can get this up to a mint state 66, we might be talking about 18 to $20. A mint state 65, um, we're probably talking about 350 to um, $5. So we're not talking about huge bucks here unless we can get it graded. What we'll take away from that, a couple little dashes down here. And then finally, this is a Denver Mint one. Now, look at the difference between the Denver Mint one in the Philly Mint one, just in terms of the coloring, the shine on these. So the Denver Mint one has this little, these lines across it, which makes me think that it probably came from a, a uncirculated mint set because the plastic does that sometimes. Still considered an uncirculated coin though. We see it says Liberty and we see these lines across it. At the Denver Mint in 1986, they made 473 million. At the Philadelphia Mint, they made 682 million. And these are worth a minimum, I would say, they're both MS65s at least, 
of 350 to five dollars but if we could get them graded higher they would be worth maybe 18 to 20 dollars because they do have pretty close to the full bands on them all right well that's all we have today from the dc coin world international coin channel and there's the p the d and the s